All I have to say is you better get ready. Get ready for a super satisfying clean declutter and organize with me. We were gifted a refrigerator that was well over 20 years old so I will be deep cleaning that fully organizing it and just doing lots of cleaning and or organizing all over my home I'm also going to be sharing with you my 2021 Amazon favorites cleaning beauty kids pets all of the top products from the year so I hope you're ready Hey guys, thank you for being here. I'm Jamie and today I'm going to be giving you lots of satisfying cleaning motivation. Lots of decluttering, lots of organizing all over my home. We recently were given a, a an old refrigerator when one of our family members bought new appliances and they were just going to get rid of it. And so we decided to take it off their hands, put it in our garage and just have a little bit more of extra space, mainly for drinks and some of our frozen food. So here it was night one. It was just a cozy night at home. I was makeup free and ready to get the living room and kitchen cleaned up. The girls were also going to help me. Um, it had just been a long day, so we needed to get things cleaned up. But I'm curious, how are you guys doing? Are you hanging in there? I know we're nearing the end of the year. Holiday, the holidays are here and life is crazy. I think pretty much probably for everyone, but how are you doing? Are you hanging in there? I think about you guys a lot because, I mean, I always say that this community means a lot to me and I care about how you're doing. Um, and I also get a lot of you guys who will message me and let me know how you're doing. Um, and I don't know, I just hope you're, you're doing okay. I know it can feel a little overwhelming during the holiday season with everything that we have to do, but just know that you're doing a good job. I know you are. And I think sometimes we just need someone to tell us that we're doing a good job you know, it's that simple. We're doing a good job. You're a good mom. You're a good parent. Um, you're a good wife, whatever you are enough. So I hope you guys are doing okay and hanging in there. So people always ask, how do you get motivated when you don't want to clean? And so this day, particularly, it was just one of those days. I didn't really feel like cleaning, um, wasn't feeling it. So when I'm feeling like that, I put on some music from when I was in high school or college. So right now I have a 90s pop playing from a playlist on Amazon. My heart will go on from the Titanic. Do you guys remember that movie? Oh, duh, you guys remember that movie. I think everyone remembers that movie. Um, but I was in sixth grade when it came out. And I remember going to the movies when, um, or Mike went with me. We didn't go together. We went with like a big group 
as 12 year olds. I actually had another boyfriend at the time <laughs> in sixth grade. I remember that's when it became popular to go out. Um, we would say we're going out. And I don't know now, like, what's the normal age to start going out, if that makes sense. Like, we didn't do anything. Like, we didn't, like, go on dates, of course, or anything. But if you guys have preteens, I'm curious, like, is that still the no I mean, we were 12. Um, um, like, I remember in elementary school, ha you know, having crushes on boys and stuff like that. But for us, we were in elementary through fifth grade. And then in sixth grade, we went to middle school. We did not, we don't, we didn't have a junior high. It was a middle school. So in six, it was sixth, seventh, and eighth. So then it was almost like once we got to middle school, we felt older. And that's when I remember everyone, like everyone went out with someone. It just seemed like everyone paired off with someone and they went out and we literally like we didn't talk on the phone we didn't go anywhere together we would go to the movies but it was like a huge group we had a movie theater in our town at the time it's no longer there but everybody would that's what we would do on the weekends like if there was a big movie that came out we would all go out as a big group as friends um, our parents would drop us off and then pick us up but i remember mike being there when, when i would go see when i went to go see the titanic um and i also remember seeing night at the roxbury with him which those movies seem so old but anyways um yeah i love the movie titanic and i know that the song my heart will go on is not a pump up music at all but there's just something about hearing a song that you have not heard in years and years and it brings back memories i am telling you give it a try that is my go-to when i am just not feeling it And here a little bit, you're going to see another classic um, that popped up on the playlist. It was Leanne Rimes' How Do I Live. That song brings me back for sure. Um, and it's actually kind of a funny story. So back to what I had just said, that um, when Mike and I went out, or when Mike and I went to go see the Titanic back in sixth grade, I had another boyfriend that I was going out with. Um and his name was Brandon and I remember how do I live was our song together which is oh makes me laugh um but we had a song how do I live and I remember one of my friends called the local radio station and dedicated Leanne Rhymes how do I live to us and I taped it with a cassette do you guys remember that which i feel so old saying this but the thing is is you guys you're all my age or older um i mean i know some of you guys are younger than me but i remember taping songs off of the radio so like you had a good song that you loved instead of buying the cassette you would tape it off of the radio and i remember when she dedicated the song i taped it so i could have the dedication <laughs> um but that's what it makes me think of so yeah but anyways, yes, I'm telling you, pop on some music when you're not in the mood and there's just something about hearing songs that you haven't heard in a long time. It just always gets me up and moving. I also like li listening to audiobooks or podcasts, but it's all about the mood. It's my mood, how I'm feeling, but give it a try.
And don't forget to stick around because after I deep clean and completely organize the garage and the new refrigerator out there, then I'm gonna share with you all of this year's top Amazon favorites. So like I said earlier, we have a family member who is getting new appliances. They had not up updated theirs in years, years. And they finally just pulled the plug, which I was happy that they were able to finally get new appliances. And they were just going to get rid of it. And we're like, you know what? We actually could use this to store our drinks and um, like kids drinks. We just kind of have a lot. Um, and so because we we're going to put it in our garage, we needed to clean up our garage. I really have nothing to say about our garage. It's just always a mess. We, we do this, you know, like every month or every couple of months. Um, I know that we need to utilize our garage wall space more, like more vertical space. I know this, but now that we know we are moving, um, we just don't want to throw in the money into this house when we can do that in the next house. And I keep getting asked questions about moving. I will have an update for you guys. I do have an update. I just can't give you all of the details right now. Um, and I've just avoided saying anything because I don't want to do that to you. I don't want to string you along. I'm not here to clickbait you. I'm not here to lead you on. I've just avoided talking about it because I can't say everything right now, And but you guys keep asking. So there will be an update maybe in the next couple of weeks. I will give you the full details when I can, I promise you. So I just, I don't want to be that annoying person and like, oh, we found a house and there's just, there's just, there's a lot of details and there's a lot to it. So until the ink is dry, <laughs> so to speak. Um, I just don't want to be annoying and lead you guys on. So I promise there will be an update soon. Um, and that one will have a lot of details. All right. It's soaking and I'm going to go downstairs now and clean up the rest of the fridge but try to work quickly and hopefully I can be back in like another 20 minutes or so So I put the shelves in the tub to soak with hot water and Dawn dish soap. And I do this with my own fridge shelving, like the regular fridge. It's just an easy way to really deep clean your fridge shelves. Um, so I had those soaking and then I was going to go and wipe everything down. And I was first using Dawn power wash and honestly, it didn't get everything off. Like I said, these appliances are pretty old. So I had to bust out the big guns and the big guns for me is barkeeper's friend, the powder kind. If I can't get things clean, I always first try Dawn power wash and then Barkeeper's Friend after that. And I feel like if Barkeeper's Friend does not get something clean, then it probably can't be cleaned. Um, it's just, it's a great cleaner. I'll actually include some pictures here that my sister-in-law actually sent me. Um, they have hard water. So they live in Michigan about an hour, a little over an hour from us. We live about 15 minutes. We live in Ohio, about 15 minutes from the Michigan-Ohio border. And my sister-in-law lives about an hour north and she has hard water and they have stains all over their um, shower. They have like a jacuzzi tub stains, toilet stains, and they've lived there for I think over two years and they've never been able to get the stains out. She's tried everything, bleach, um, cleaners that are made for hard water and nothing has helped. And I recommended trying Barkeeper's Friend and it's the only thing that got all of the stains out. It's crazy. So if you have hard water, definitely get get you some barkeeper's friend the powder nine elements is another one that actually does work as well it's just not as um heavy duty i guess it's cleaner meaning it's not as i mean it's just it's a more natural cleaner than barkeeper's friend but sometimes you just need the big guns so give it a try if you have hard water but even if you don't it's still great um 
to have on hand. Like it got pretty much everything up with minimal scrubbing for me. So I don't know if you guys will notice, but I obviously notice because I look at myself in the mirror every day. So I have a nice glow <laughs> in today's video. I did my self tanner the night before. I was doing all of this on a Saturday and we had an event to go to later at night that I had to wear a dress. So I wanted to look a little bit tan, self tan in the winter. So I self tan um, I use Loving Tan. That's the brand that I use. Loving Tan. I do it every week, once a week in the summer, but it's just crazy because so in the summer, I do the ultra dark shade of Loving Tan and here I'm using the medium and I still think it looks kind of weird just because it's December and it's cold out. But then in the summer, I'll see myself with the ultra dark and I don't think I look weird. Like it's, I don't know if that makes sense, but it's almost like when I feel the like it almost feels wrong to me to be tan in the winter when it's cold and there's snow on the ground. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, I still wanted to look not so super pale because we have the event. Like normally I don't, I mean, I, I don't self tan in the winter unless we have something like really special um, to go to. And But watching this back, it makes me laugh. We have so many drinks, but you know, when we have friends and family coming over, we always wanna make for sure everyone has their favorite drink. Like Mike's family really likes Diet Mountain Dew, as does he. Um, you know, my dad likes a certain type of beer when he comes over. My mom likes Merlot, which we like wine, but neither Mike or I like Merlot. It's a pretty dry, I mean, I like drier wines, but just not Merlot. So we have a lot, but you know, when we have friends or family coming over, we want to make for sure everyone has their favorite drink. You guys, I don't know what it is, but I am loving this. <laughs> It just looks so nice and organized and all we got all the drinks So if you guys come over to my house, you're welcome to come over if you come over You can have your choice of drink. We have we have it all apparently, right? So I think this is how I'll keep it. I was trying to think of the best way to organize this um, So I just kind of threw stuff in there um, Which I thought made the most sense I may have to change it eventually, but looks pretty good. Oh, and by the way, if you like, so this is Prosecco, if you like champagne, I'm not an expert when it comes to different wines. I don't know what makes Prosecco different from champagne, but to me, they taste the exact same. I actually prefer Prosecco a little bit more. This stuff is really good. It's $6.99 for a bottle. Love my cheap alcohol which is a steal and it's really, really good. I feel like that's a hidden Costco gem. Yes. All right, so since the end of the year is fastly approaching, um, also Christmas is right around the corner, I wanted to share some of my 2020, I wanna share some of my 2021 Amazon favorites. So these could be gift ideas. They could just be like, oh, I need that for me because we all do that, right? <laughs> like we're Christmas shopping. We always buy things for ourselves, right? I can't believe 
I can't be the only one. But just some of the stuff, cleaning tools, um, pet stuff, fashion, beauty, stuff for the kids, kitchen stuff, just all of that. So I'm gonna share that okay. with you guys. So I try to put these in categories. So we'll start with the humidifier. This is something that I've been using a lot lately. Um, just the fall has done a number on my allergies. And so every single night, and we get very dry air in the winter. So I've been running this every single night and it has different colors. If you want the colors, I don't like the colors, especially cause I'm, you know, using it at night. I like my room to be pitch black, um, but it puts out a good amount of steam and I feel like it does help alleviate some of those allergy issues. Just kind of keeps things not so dry. So really, really, really like this one. Um, and then, okay, kitchen stuff. So this is a strainer, obviously not nothing too exciting, but the color is cute and it's expandable and I put it on my sink. So when we come home from the grocery store, I always like to wash our fruit and vegetables right away just so they're prepared and ready to go. And I don't know, like I just like putting this on my sink, pouring in the fruit or vegetables and then just letting them sit for a few hours while they dry off. And I just like how this sits on top of the sink so my strainer isn't sitting in the sink, you know, like with my fresh berries and all of that. So I don't know, something just very simple that this is something that I use all of the time. Okay, F cleaning favorites. So I have this allergen spray. Again, allergies have been bad. Um, I don't, you know, I've had people ask me if they think this made a huge difference. It's hard to tell, um, but it's supposed to reduce airborne and surface allergens from cats, dogs, dust mites, cockroaches. It's hypoallergenic, fragrance free, and um, like no harsh chemicals, blah, blah, blah. So I like using this on our bedding and on our furniture. And then I have this cleaning tool. I don't even know what it's called, but so it expands right here. Like this can go down there, but it expands and it's basically an electronic scrubber. So I use this, or you can use this in your shower. So it's really great if you have a hard time bending over or moving in a certain way, or if you have an awkward shower or bathtub, this is nice because you can just use it. And it charges by a USB cable, and then you have these different heads you can put on the top and they just spin. And so it, you can get into the cracks and crevices of your shower or bathtub and scrub it without having to bend over. Um, you know, it's just a lot easier on your back. And if you have a lot of grout, my parents have a lot of grout in their bathroom, um, in their shower, and I got my mom to get one of these because it's a lifesaver for them. So. It's like the Rubbermaid power scrubber that I have, you know, that like little tool. It's like that, but in like a much bigger form. All right, so over here, I have the wall cleaner, which you guys have seen me use a ton on my channel. Now I don't have the other head because it's getting washed, but it came with two heads. So this one looks like a mop. And honestly, I don't really use this one because I feel like I would just use my mop if, um, if I were to use this one, I use the flat mop head, or I use the flat head. So it's just, comp it like slips on like that, just like this. These are, this is stretchy. And then they have this that's just like flat and I can use it to clean my walls. And I like the flat head better because I feel like it really sits on the wall, if you know what I mean, so. I don't know, I've been using this wall cleaning tool a ton on my channel and I like it because it allows me specifically to get up high. I mean, our ceilings downstairs are nine foot ceilings, so obviously I can't get to those. So it allows me to reach up high, clean those walls, or if you have a hard time just bending down, <laughs> bending over, this is great. So I have these, so they are to help shred chicken, shred meat. Um, we make a lot of crock pot meals with chicken and then we end up shredding it for soups and tacos and things like that. And these are actually pretty sharp, like you just shred the chicken. Now I know a lot of people say to take a hand mixer and stick it in the crock pot to like 
shred up the chicken, which I've tried before, but the problem we run into is that we usually have liquid, some type of, you know, like chicken broth or liquid that's marinating the chicken or the meat in the crock pot. And so then the liquid just like kicks up and it just becomes a huge mess. So these, like you just put one in each of your hands and then you can like tear up the chicken. Now, obviously this is not like a must have. I mean, you could easily use a fork and a knife, but I don't know, that always takes a long time and it just goes way quicker for us when I use these and we shred a lot of chicken. So it was a purchase that was worth it for me. For our dog, so we got these calming chews. They're for stress and anxiety. I do think they're helping. I mean, she also has been given um, anti-anxiety medication. She does not like it when we leave, um, but she's okay. We play, we blare music. Um, she always goes in the basement when we leave and she's fine. Um, but when it storms, she freaks out. And on the 4th of July, it, it wasn't storming, but we had fireworks. We were not home and she chewed through the door frame, two door frames, um, poor dog. So we give her CBD oil drops. We give her these. And then if we're leaving and we know it's going to potentially storm, we have a thunder vest and we give her the meta the medication but these are good for the a daily basis type of thing um and then we also have these zesty paws these zesty paws they're aller immune bites so she also has a lot of allergies um so we give these to her daily it's actually kind of cute because the twins love giving reese a treat so those and then this carpet cleaner, it's a stain and odor eliminator. So it does a good job of removing the stains, but also removing the odor. This got really, really, really high reviews on Amazon and I think it does a pretty good job. Okay, so these are kind of beat up, but these are my beloved slippers. I love these, I wear them every single day, pretty much all day long. They've held up really well. I mean, I've had them for well over a year and I, like I said, I wear them all day, every day. Um, I feel like they're UGG knockoffs. And even though they're knockoffs, they hold up pretty well. So, got those. These are two pair, well, these are joggers. And I love these. This might, these might be like one of my all-time favorite Amazon purchases. They're just so comfortable and they're the jogger style. I'll actually try them on for you guys so you can see what they look like. And then I got these you know, like for the holidays, like you're dressing up with like a nice sweater, but you still want to wear leggings. So here I was kind of going for that look of looking a little bit nicer, but still being able to wear leggings. And I feel, I don't know the brand. Is it the Spanx? I don't know. Someone said these are a dupe for Spanx maybe. Um, so I will try these on for you as well, but I love those. Over here I have, so these are some workout tanks that I have that I really, really love. Very lightweight, breathable. I like the big holes in, like that almost goes down like my whole stomach, side of my stomach, because when you're working out, you want a lot of air going through. You know what I'm saying? So you're not sweating a lot, especially here in the winter. I am working out inside in the basement and I sweat like crazy because there's no airflow. So it's nice to have tank tops like this. And then these, I mean, I'm not wearing these right now, but I love these. I'll probably get more in the springtime, but they're cropped tank tops. So I love wearing these with a pair of leggings in the summer. And I don't know, I just like wearing crop shirts in general, not like if I'm... I don't wear crop shirts like if I'm going out to dinner or anything, but around the house with a pair of leggings because I'm very short and the cropped um, with the high, you know, waisted legging makes me look a lot taller than what I really am. So I am all about crop sweatshirts, crop t-shirts. Speaking of working out, these are some bras that I got, some sports bras, and I just thought they were, they looked a little bit cuter. I like the crisscross in the back, some pads in there, which I personally like. I don't know, they're just really soft and comfortable and I don't know, I think a little cute. I like wearing these when I do my spin workouts because I sweat a ton and sometimes I just want a sports bra and leggings and not a shirt. These 
pajamas. I'm really not wearing these right now, but they are long sleeve pajamas with shorts. So typically now in the winter, I wear long sleeve pajamas all around, but these are nice for the summer, spring, fall, that type of thing. Um, but really soft, really cute. I don't know, just pretty basic, but something that I really enjoy. Okay, so I got this book for Avery recently for no particular reason other than I came across it and I really liked the message. It's Have You Filled a Bucket Today? A Guide to Daily Happiness for Kids. And it's all about making others feel good and filling each other's buckets and, you know, watch for smiles to light up on their faces. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Here are some ideas, maybe just saying hi, invite the new kid at school to play with you. Um, you know, guess what? When you fill someone, someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. And just kind of reiterating that message of how important it is to be caring and respectful. My Yeti coffee mugs, I love these. I actually have I have two of these, um, but I just love it because it keeps my coffee warm. Like, it's perfect. Like, I'll brew my coffee. I usually keep the lid off for maybe three to four minutes just so it's not, like, piping hot. And then I put the lid on it, and to me, then it's, like, the perfect temperature. It's, a, it's like, pretty hot, but cool enough to drink, and then it stays warm while I drink my coffee. Okay, so this is the Alani New pre-workout. It's a powder you add to your water um, before you work out. I don't take this every single time. Um, it just depends on like if I want a really good workout or if I'm really tired, then I'll take it. Um, but I do notice that my workouts, I go harder and longer and I just, I kick butt with my workouts when I take this. So um, not every time before a workout, but it's, it's pretty good. These eye masks, so they are for puffy eyes, dark circles. They're like, they're gold. They sit under your eyes, like, yeah, they're like, that's what they look like right there in the middle. Um, but you put them under your eyes. I have very, when I wake up in the morning, very puffy eyes, very puffy, puffy face in general. Um, I've always been like that, even when I get plenty of sleep. And so there's sometimes where I really need a little bit of extra depuffing, and I'll wear these before I head out the door or if my allergies are acting up and I'm extra puffy, I'll use these. I don't use these every single day or every single week, um, but it's just nice to have them on hand. I keep them in the fridge or a couple packets in the fridge and they're just really cool, cooling and soothing under your eyes. Okay, so these are the joggers. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see them, but they have like a stretchy waistband. I actually have three. <laughs> they have pockets. Um, but yeah, I have three pairs because I like them that much and they're pretty cheap. I feel like 10 or $12 or something like that. And they're stretchy. Um, I think mine are a small. And typically when I buy pants, I have pretty muscular legs. And typically I'll get a medium with most pants and these are a small so I think they run a little bit big and it's because they're stretchy but they're nice and comfortable and I just like it when I'm not feeling on wearing leggings you know like not super tight pants and these are my fancy leggings shiny and I don't know like it just to me adds just a little bit extra to the outfit, you know, like dresses up a little bit of the legging look. Um, like these would be perfect. Like usually on New Year's Eve, we have friends come over, we just hang out, play games. Mike's birthday's on January 1st, so everyone always comes over to our house. It's casual, laid back, playing games. But you know, you sometimes you still wanna like look a little bit cute. And I feel like, you know, these leggings do it. Now, the only downfall is they are very long. I'm short, I'm 5'4", and I have them cuffed at the bottom just because they're way too long. So that's the only bad thing. There's not like a short in these, but they're way cheaper than if you would buy 
the name brand. So I'll take it, but you can see. But I think that's gonna be it. I feel a little bit <laughs> silly like showing off my clothes because I am not a fashionista at all. So I feel a little bit weird, but if I find something that really works for me, I'm pretty simple. I'm like a t-shirt and jeans type of girl, t-shirt and legging type of girl. So if I find something that I like, um, I like to share it. Um, anyways, I think that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Amazon little haul, sharing some of your favorite, or sharing some of my favorites. If you guys buy anything, let me know. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.